Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about something just a little bit different, which is women playing adult hockey. So I understand I'm a woman, so I have a very particular experience here. And this video is actually going to apply mostly to also men, but I really wanted to talk specifically to women because sometimes it's harder for women who want to play hockey to get into hockey, especially if you're an adult, you've never played before, but you see your, your husband, significant other, child, wife, whatever it is playing. And you're like, I don't know if I could ever do that because it seems very different than what I'm doing now. So I wanted to talk just a little bit about why you should go out there and start to play hockey if you have any inkling to. So number one, everybody has to start somewhere. My experience is different than some women, but it's also very similar to other women, is that my boyfriend played. And we were together for a while before I even kind of considered it. I'm not an athlete really in any sort of sense of the term. And I didn't know hockey until I met him. And so one day there was a woman that played on one of his teams. It was like, hey, you should come out. And I was like, no, there's no way. But I actually went out and played and it was super fun. So I just want to say that if you're kind of thinking about it, there are ways to get out there and I'll kind of go over some of those, but you just have to get out there and do it. All right, the next thing I wanted to talk about was really how judgy women are. And by that, I mean, in hockey, they really aren't at all. It's actually, it's very heartening, I guess. First time I ever went out there, I was so, so nervous because I didn't know what I was doing. I had just gone out there for the first time and women were so very supportive. So sometimes it can be kind of intimidating because you never know what level people are. And if you're in a beginner's league, there's it's one thing, but if you're in a women's league, sometimes there's not enough women. And so they have basically every single level of player from former pros to brand new players. So when I got out there, that's kind of what it was. It was all different levels of people and I didn't really know what I was doing. And so they would come up to me and say, hey, stand over here or do this or hold your stick this way. And um, it, it was very, very nice. I really enjoyed it because again, I really didn't know what I was doing. So women can be really, really great and supportive in that way. So next I wanted to talk a little bit about the leagues because women have something that men don't necessarily have. If you are an adult male and you want to learn hockey for the first time, sometimes it can be really hard to get into it because if there's not a beginner's leagues very specifically, then it's like, where do you go? And I have found that a lot of times if you go to pickups or anything like that, where it's like you, you just sign up and you go, you can start getting better that way. But in sometimes there's beginner adult development leagues. And that is the best thing for both women and men, where you can get out there and everybody else is on the same page as you. They're all beginners. And there's generally a coach to kind of teach you what to do. But then women have the ed extra added benefit of having women's leagues a lot of the time. Some towns don't have it and that's fine, but I think every town I've lived in has had a women's league. And so you can get out there and kind of feel a little bit more safe, not physically safe, but really just kind of emotionally safe. I guess is the best word for it. Where again, you know that people aren't gonna make fun of you. There are going to be people that are gonna teach you what to do. And we all started somewhere. I would say most of the women's leagues I play on, maybe a third of them have played before they were the age of 18, but everybody else started as an adult at some point. And so that is something to remember that we all kind of started there. Hockey equipment can be another barrier to getting started, especially as a woman, because hockey care is expensive. And if this is something that you're not sure if you want to do, then you don't want to go out and spend 500 bucks on this gear if you don't know that you're going to continue to do this. So my recommendation is always to reach out to your rink and just say, do you have any gear I can borrow? And they're not going to let you borrow it forever. Sometimes they'll just let you borrow it for the night and then maybe next time you come, they'll let you borrow it for the night again. Um, in, in most towns I've lived, there's a women's association and they'll have some equipment that people can borrow. You're not going to be able to do this forever, but you really need to find out if this is something you want to do. And you really don't want to spend that much money until that is something that you decide you want to do. When I started playing hockey, I really had some preconceived notions of what hockey women players were like. All very athletic, all really, really good and finely tuned athletes and young and all that. And I have to tell you, women in hockey, there's just so many different types. Because so many women get into it because their significant player, a significant other played or their child played. And I'm not saying that's everybody, but that is a, a large amount of people who start playing hockey as an adult, I have found. Obviously, there's a lot of people that played as youth and they come up in that way. 
but in women's adult leagues, it, there's a lot of people that start as adults and that's great. And I will tell you, I have met some of the best people I have ever met in some of those, actually both women and men. And it, it's something that if you go into it kind of scared of like, who are these people and you know, who am I playing with? And I don't want to play because I don't think I'll get along with people. There are so many different types of people. I play with people 20 years old. I play with people 80 years old. I play with people who've been playing since they were three years old and people who started yesterday, just like me. And so just understand that we're all in this together. And afterwards, you know, have a beer with everybody in the locker room or if they go out for a drink or whatever, because it really is a social sport and that is always great. I will warn against having a drink before the game especially if you don't know what you're doing because hockey is hard it's hard work and if you're going to be drinking before the game that may limit your abilities just a little bit as it does mine I know that some people get nervous because they see a lot of hockey players get injured. There's the whole thing of people not having teeth or you know, getting hurt in some way or another. And I have to tell you, it's not really something you have to worry about that much in adult hockey. And the reason for it, there's a couple reasons for it. First of all, this is not the NHL. We're not allowed to hit each other. We're not allowed to cross check. There's a lot of stuff that we're not allowed to do. I know you're not allowed to cross check in the NHL, but you can't punch somebody. I'll tell you that. If somebody injured. So padded up that pretty much everything is protected. Obviously, if you take a slap shot somewhere, it might hurt a little bit. There's, there's a couple openings like right above the knee or like in your shin, things like that. But otherwise, you're pretty protected in terms of getting hurt. So if you fall, if you get hit with a puck, if somebody runs into you, anything like that, it really rarely hurts that much. The one thing you have to remember though, is it does depend on what shape you're in, because if you are completely out of shape, which I generally, you know, I, I fluctuate, but sometimes I get out there and skate and I'm just like, I'm so out of breath right now. Um, you could get hurt more that way, obviously. You wanna, you wanna work on exercise and maybe even in between games, doing something so you kind of stay in that shape, even if it's just getting out there and skating. But skating is hard work and you're gonna be out there and you're gonna be skating as fast as you can for at least 45 seconds at a time. And so you are more likely to get hurt if you're not in shape, but I've been doing this for a while and you know, not always in shape and I rarely get hurt in that way. Another thing that stops women from joining hockey, I've found, is just the fear of playing a male dominated sport. Mm -hmm. um, again, there's women who come up as children who played when they were kids and there's more and more of those these days, which is great because women's or girls hockey is expanding. But then there's a lot of women that started as an adult and I think that those women, it is really kind of intimidating because it's hard to find if you don't have a women's league then you're going to probably be going out there with other beginners who are you may be the only woman out there or one of two or something but I will tell you I have never found that men are not hospitable in any way you hear stories every once in a while but I really haven't found that men are against women playing in any way. And then on top of that, I find the locker room etiquette is totally fine. I played in places where they force men and women separate and I don't love that, but it's fine because we have our own clean, pretty locker room. Um, but even if you're...